What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to be talking about how quarterbacks should move in the pocket and we're gonna be talking about quarterbacks, footwork and what's the proper way to get our feet set to make this throw. All right, guys, so right now we're going to get into some pocket movement, okay? So we're going to be talking about how QBs should be moving in the pocket efficiently. The biggest mistake I see guys make is when they're moving in this pocket, their feet will come too close together. Your base is the most important part of moving in the pocket and being able to deliver a throw. You could have below average mechanics, but if your base is bad, you could have the best mechanics in the world and the ball still won't go where you want it. You need to have this nice wide base. Now, not too wide, not too close together right here shoulder width apart like we're riding a skateboard almost okay so let's say someone's coming up field on us right coming up field beat our tackles and we got to climb this pocket the mistake a lot of dudes will make is they'll come here feet will be narrow then they make this throw and they push and they stride super long that's not what we want guys i want a wide base here both feet moving at the same time so i'm in this position to throw anytime i want to and i can get this ball out of my hand now let's say i got to move laterally right the mistake a lot of guys will make is they'll kick step here that's not what I want. I don't even want to kick step with the back one. I want to keep my base. I'm sitting in the pocket, moving both at the same time so I could just shoot this ball out. Same thing going to the left. I don't want to kick here because then I got to bring this back and make this throw. And I don't want to be here because I have to bring this up and make the throw. I want to move both feet at the same time. I want to be here, moving both feet at the same time so I can shoot this ball out on time, get my feet underneath me, all right? Biggest thing moving in the pocket, guys. We want to have active feet, but we want both feet moving at the same time. Don't kick step. Don't let my base get super narrow. Don't be super wide. Nice shoulder width apart so we can deliver a ball. All right, guys, so now we are gonna talk about how QBs should be getting set to make this throw when they have to move around, when they have to create some space in the pocket. So as you guys know, the quarterback position is not black and white. You're gonna have to move around, you're gonna have to make some plays, you're gonna have to make some things happen with your feet inside the pocket. That's why footwork is so important for a quarterback. But now let's say we got a guy open over here. Let's say he's running a dig, right? And we gotta get out of this pocket here. Now we're not just gonna try to make this throw. That won't work, okay? Sometimes you have to, and you have to get your shoulders, get some torque to the ball when we're making an off-balance throw. But let's say we're out, we got a clean pocket. I just don't wanna make this throw if I don't have to, right? So we gotta make sure we get set, left hip, left shoulder on the target, and shoot the ball out. Anytime we have to create space and get off platform, let's say we get out of trouble then, right? Now we gotta get to our platform, left hip, left shoulder on the target, shoot the ball out but another like, let's say we don't get out of trouble right let's say we do have to make an off-platform throw we just want to be here disassociate our upper half from our lower half get our upper half going forward first okay same deal let's say you don't even have to move around in the pocket for this to apply let's say we're working through progressions right we're working through here not open not open somebody let's say our check downs open over here i don't want to just make this throw if i don't have to if i got a clean pocket working through our progressions my eyes come over here my feet follow tying my feet to my eyes i'm here my left hip also follows left hip left shoulder on the target guys that's going to help with your accuracy and then we just replace left shoulder on the target replace with the right follow through and that's going to help with our accuracy guys and that's how we should be moving getting set to different receivers inside the pocket All right, guys, so now we're going to be talking about your drops inside the pocket. So the mistake a lot of guys will make on their drops is they think every single drop has to be the same rhythm, same thing, race back there, and then just sit here and wait, okay? That's not how the game of football works. That's not how the great quarterbacks in the NFL, great quarterbacks in college, that's not how they play, okay? They play, it's a different route. So let's say you got to throw a timing route, like a bang eight, we got a deep out, on time post, which is what a bang eight is for most of you that don't know. So our drop needs to be different. We can't be here. One, two, three, get back. And then we already beat the guy out there, right? We beat the guy, then we're just sitting here waiting. Our whole defense is going to where our eyes are. We got to get back there with some rhythm. So we're throwing a bang eight. We got to be here. One, two, three. And then make the throw, okay? We can't just be racing back there and then just sit there and hold, right? Now it's a different story. Let's say you got to throw a dig, right? And we want to focus on getting some depth. We want to focus on getting back fast because we got to hitch. We got to be able to hitch into this throw. So let's say we're throwing a dig. Our, our drop's going to be a little bit faster. We're going to be here, get some depth. One, two, three. Hitch up, ball's out. 
okay? The speed of our drop differs. Let's say we're throwing a deep ball and we gotta get it up right now, right? Then it's a quick drop. We're just going here, one, two, three. Quick hitch, get the ball up, okay? Your drops are gonna differ depending on the route, guys. You got timing routes, you got routes where you really need to get some depth so you can see, right? And then there are times where you gotta get the ball up quick. Your routes are going to differ and that's what separates great quarterbacks from good quarterbacks is that they can time their feet, they can get their feet in rhythm with their receivers and the different route concepts that they're given. I really want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to this channel and please leave in the comments the next video that you guys would like to see next and I'll see you next time.